Good day everyone! Welcome to Tielitla Agricultural Crop Production. Our lesson for today is about farm tools and equipment. Farm tools, implements, and equipment play a very important role in agricultural crop production. Their availability makes the work much easier and faster. However, if one may have the most sophisticated tools and implements but doesn't know how to use them, they are useless. One must have a good working knowledge of the tools, implements, and equipment before using them. Hand tools are the most simple light tools. They are used with your bare hands in performing farm operation in small area in your vegetable garden, in the house, and in the small garden area in school. Hand fork. It resembles the appearance of fork with sharp tines used for weeding and mixing additives into the soil. Hand cultivator. It is used for loosening the soil, cultivating, and removing weeds in the garden plot. Hand trowel. It is a tool used for digging, loosening soil, and transplanting seedlings. Spading fork, it is a tool with a long handle used for digging out root crops and turning over the materials in a compost heap. Shovel, it is used for lifting, digging, and mixing soil. Spade. It has a sharp flat edge that is used for loosening and mixing soil and digging canals or ditches. Grab hole. It is used for breaking hard top soil and pulverizing soil. Crowbar. It is used for digging big holes and big stones and stumps. Pick mattock. It is a tool with transverse blade head at one end and a pointed head at the other. It is used for digging canals, breaking hard top soil, and digging up stones and tree stumps. Dibbler. It is a tool used for making holes in the soil for planting seeds. Bolo. It is used for cutting tall grasses and cutting branches of trees. Knives. These are used for grafting, marketing, budding, or cutting planting trees. Sickle. It is used for harvesting grains with a curved blade. Shears. These are used for twigs and leaves and cutting small branches of plants. Axe. It is used to cut and split bigger posts.
wheelbarrow. It is a hand propelled vehicle used for holding manure, fertilizers, and planting materials. Sprinkler, it is used for watering plants. Sprayer, it is used for applying herbicides, pesticides, and fertilizers. Pail container. It is used for holding chemical fertilizers and even water. Rake. It is used for gathering leaves and leveling the soil. Farm implements. These are accessories which are being pulled by working animals or mounted machineries. Used in preparation of the farm, usually made of a special kind of metal. Plow is pulled by working animal or a tractor. It is used for tilling large areas of land, making furrows and row cultivation. is used for tilling and pulverizing the soil, pulled by a carabao or mounted to a tractor. Wooden harrow is made of wood with metal teeth. This harrow is mounted to a tractor. Rotavator it is mounted to a tractor used for tilling and pulverizing the soil. Farm equipment. These are machineries used in crop production. They are used in land preparation and in transporting farm inputs and products. This equipment need a highly skilled operator to use. Combined harvester is an economical machine used for harvesting grain crops, a combination of reaping, threshing, and winnowing. Hand tractor. It is used to pull a plow and harrow in preparing large area of land. Four-wheel tractor. It is used to pull this plow and this harrow, preparing much bigger area of land. Perform preventive maintenance of tools and equipment. Conducting a pre-operational checkup of your farm tools and equipment is a must. Although it's time-consuming, it will help farm works better. By conducting a self-checkup, you will be able to detect defects and any broken parts of the tools and equipment. It will also ensure safety and prevent further damage. Steps in conducting preventive maintenance Step 1. Prepare all the materials needed to clean and sharpen. Step 2. Select a safer place where you can position your tools steadily. Step 3. Dismantle cutting tools like head shears before cleaning. Step 4. Carefully remove rust. Step 5. Clean tools thoroughly and keep it in a dry place. 
basic steps in cleaning farm tools. Step 1. Rinse off mud and soil with a garden hose. Step 2. Scrub away stubborn soil and use paint thinner to remove sap and pitch. Step 3. Wipe tools dry with a rug or towel. Step 4. Hang tools well. And step 5. Wipe and spray with oil and put tools in a pail to keep them clean and sharp. Procedures in sharpening and oiling farm tools and equipment. Step 1. Sharpen tool before and after its use. Step 2. Oil or grease metal parts. Step 3. Wooden handles should be strong. Step 4. Hang your garden tools. Step 5. Dry tools after use. Step 6. Put silica gel. Step 7. Store tools in the original cases. Importance of proper storage of tools and equipment. Number 1. For safety and health as well as good business. Number 2. Improves appearance of working areas. Number 3. Reduces overall tool cost through maintenance. Number 4. Ensures that tools are in good repair at hand. Number 5. Teaches workers principles of tool accountability. Things to remember in storing tools and equipment. Number 1. Have designed place for each kind of tools. Number 2. A storage cabinet should be labeled and place it correctly. Number 3. Store tools near the point of use. Number 4. Before storing, wash and dry tools properly. Number 5. Store knives properly with sharp edge down when not in use. Number 6. Frequently used items should be put in accessible locations. Number 7. Electrical cords should be gathered and secured to prevent snugging. Number 8. To avoid moisture collection, cutting boards should be stored vertically. Number 9. Metal equipment can be stuck on one another after drying. And number 10. Areas for storing equipment should be clean, dry, and not overcrowded. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something today. See you on our next lesson.